Heal up, Beard. I thought you said yous were plenty done with the little drama release and all the other nonsense. So what the heck is this? Well, it's a mob guide, essentially, as we've got new beasts made of brack to get down pat that also just so happen to go hand in hand with what we've been discussing this month. And to me, that's not an update video, and hopefully you'll say the same once these pickable puppies are tamed. Literally. If you've got the Year of the Vargon to do it, that is. For you see, the Tockleable event grants us access to the one and only Lucky Whistle at the cost of three Lucky Gold Nuggets at a Varg Shrine specifically, which allows us to tame up to five hounds for about a minute's time. Longer if used repeatedly and often, of course. Now this mechanic will work on these fresh flowery faces too, however note that Briar Wolves are super duper flimsy, meaning that it might not be advised. They only boast 50 health and 10 damage overall for Pete's sake. All that said though, that is also what makes dealing with them all the easier for us, which is nice. Honestly, the hardest part of it all might just be finding one of Don't Starve Together's newest set pieces here, the Overgrown Briar Patch. In our limited yet fruitful experience with the A Little Drama update, both in beta and its official release now, mind, we have found that both this stage and this set of briars tend to generate together and within the triple Mac branch, typically quote-unquote forcing said branch to actually generate in the first place, which is doubly good, actually. But still, do not take that at face value at all, as I have clearly seen the things not only spawn separately, but also in plain old grasslands, rocky lands, and even the forest once or twice. In short, world generations will be random when it comes to all this, and no surprise there, am I right? But once we do find the thing, we won't have to worry about being randomly surprised by the briars themselves, as as the set piece really only has one trigger, the picking of the bushes. Mining the overgrown statue will not spawn these wolves prematurely and can actually lead to some free marble, so make note there. But as for the briars themselves, we can expect them to behave just like all other hounds in this game, so don't go overthinking things. I will say this, however, hitting them to activate them will not count as actual damage, so it's best to wake them up and then one-shot them one by one for simplicity. Do so, and you will reap some rewards, of course, but the main important thing is their respawn timer here. Briar Wolves will return in a day's time, and when they do, they will do so all together with a new set of hopefully new loot for you. It's good stuff. But how is the loot table looking for these beasts exactly, Beard? Well, interesting to say the least. For you see, the Briar Wolves that generate and spawn via the Briar set piece only drop the new costumes and masks needed to properly perform on Charlie's stage, and surprisingly enough, can give each and every one of them too. However, the Briar Wolves that spawn following a performance that didn't follow the playbill, be it a survivor soliloquy, or just a random costume monologue, have all sorts of unique drops actually. The loot sets are named too, like how this one here is the Hunter's Gear for example. And no, specific survivors, the biome this thing generates in, or the weather will have no impact on any of this. The loot sets are random and will be repeated quite often I'm sure. But what are some of the other sets, you ask? Well, we have got the Fisher here, with an ocean fishing rod, basic bobber, and a red spooner lore specifically. The hiker reward pool consists of an axe, a backpack, and a shovel. The farmer drops an empty watering can, a hoe, and a garden digamajig. The miner set offers us a miner's hat, a pickaxe, and a light bulb. The tailor is next, which will grant us a top hat, a sewing kit, and a pretty parasol. And finally, the somewhat odd weather set gives us an actual umbrella, some rabbit earmuffs, and a piece of big jerky. Now all of that probably sounds whack, but if you find this stage pretty early, it's actually all really good stuff. So good luck. Oh. And yes, we will have to wait roughly five days between any of these quote-unquote failed performances in order to potentially witness all of these sets, so be aware of that too. But folks, there you have it. An overview of Don't Starve Together's newest mobs, 
Briar Wolves. They are obviously heavily tied to the game's freshest update as well. However, there is also more to them than meets the eye that can help in other day-to-day -day gameplay scenarios not related to a little drama. So get to letting the dogs out, everyone. Thanks for watching. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.